All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for being here. Um, like Rachel mentioned, my name is Tia Four, and I am the Assistant Director of Student Life and Leadership at Augustana, and I'm also the coordinator of Greek Life. Um, so I'm just going to talk to you about what the Office of Student Life does today and who we are. Uh, so at Augustana, we call the Office of Student Life OSL. So you'll hear, hear that a lot. Um, we, that's a shortened version of the name. So as the OSL, we connect students to a variety of cultures and experiences on campus through the arts and entertainment and educational programming. Um, we really strive to create a sense of belonging for our students and also help keep you engaged on campus when you're not in class and over the weekend so that you stay on campus with us. Um, our office supports over 150 student organizations on campus and we also create um, community service opportunities for our students as well. Um, our the OSL uh, under us and in our office we oversee our student life programming board, our multicultural programming board, Greek life, and leadership on campus. So those are the few things that I'm going to be touching on today um, throughout my presentation here. Um, so I'm going to start with our Student Life Programming Board, also known on campus as SLPB. Um, so our Student Life Programming Board is made up of Augie student leaders who uh, help organize and plan our programs on campus um, and also help keep other students on campus engaged like I spoke about a little bit before. So a few things that this programming board creates on campus is um, bingo nights or game nights. Bingo is very popular at Augustana. It's a really fun um, environment and fun night and fun hangout place. Um, we also bring musicians to campus, comedians. Uh, we have movie nights almost every two weeks. A new movie is shown on campus and these are newer movies. So they were either just in theaters or still, sometimes still in theaters. So that's pretty neat. And we also do excursions on campus. Um, so we take students off campus um, to experience things in the wider Quad Cities area, uh, also the surrounding area. So usually every fall we take a bus of students up to Chicago to see a, a Cubs game. And last winter we took a bus to Chestnut Mountain in Galena, Illinois. Um, so students could spend the day snowboarding and skiing or doing whatever they wanted to do up there. Um, all these events are free for Augustana students, and if there is an event off campus, like for our excursions, transportation is provided for our students in that situation as well. Uh, so that's about our Student Life Programming Board. So I also mentioned we have our Multicultural Programming Board. Um, also known as MPB on campus. So this is a similar student run and organized programming board on campus. These student leaders are paid positions and um, their mission is also to engage our students but also to educate and expose our Augustana College um, community to more multicultural events through entertainment, event planning, and uh, productive conversations. So a few events this programming board does is our Chicago retreat. We do one of those every year. We put on a culture fest every year and we have a series called Honest Conversations. Um, this is made up of our executive director who runs the multicultural programming board and then under that person is a, a few different committees. So those committees are made up of all student workers also. Um, so there's also a lot of opportunity for you to be involved in working in our office and planning these fun programs and events for other students. Um, so some of those committees are special events, comedy club, campus awareness and outreach, lectures and leadership, and international and, and independent films. Um, and so if you want to learn more, more about each of these committees, you can find them uh, more information on our website also. Okay, so our OSL also oversees Greek life on campus. Um, Augustana Greek life is a very vibrant and fun community. Um, it's that we have all local chapters. So we currently have 15 local chapters on campus. So they're unique to Augustana. They're only, you will only find them at Augustana. Um, so that's a little different than, we don't have any national affiliation. So that's a little different than sororities and fraternities that you might see at Iowa or Iowa State. But I do think that helps make it 
um, a little special. It's very special at Augustana to our students. So um, about 40% of our student population is currently involved in Greek life at Augustana. So it is a pretty popular decision once students get to campus, they see um, the environment and they want to join. Um, so a few of the areas that are social Greek groups um, kind of um, their areas of interest are social. They are all social sororities and fraternities, so getting that social aspect uh, service. Our groups have to have three hours of community service each semester, and each chapter also has their own philanthropy that they do bigger fundraising events for throughout the year. Um, they also are very interested in their scholarship. So every chapter um, strives to have a higher GPA than non-Greek students on campus. And they also are very involved in our intramurals on campus. So they um, are a pretty competitive group of people. So some of these pictures on here are from our homecoming week in the fall, which is a very fun week at Augustana and is a very, uh, um, Greek groups get very involved in that. So the one picture in the middle is our cardboard boat regatta, which isn't only for Greek groups. Any student organization can be involved in that and um, get together and build their cardboard boat and then race it on our slough. It's a pretty fun event. <laughs> and then down at the bottom is our yell event. That's um, a yell competition with, again, any student organization can be involved in, the, involved in these. Um, the Greek groups do get pretty competitive about it. Um, so a little bit more about Greek life at Augustana. We do our rushing in the spring semester. A lot of schools you see do that in the fall. We like to let our students get a little acc acclimated to life at college first before jumping in um, and being involved in Greek life. So that's one of the reasons we do it that way. i can try and show it again, but otherwise that was just a kind of clips of homecoming week of our Greek groups also. So you can go to our Augustana website and see that it's um, Recruitment 2020 is the video on that. So um, our last area that our office, the OSL oversees is Leadership Academy. Um, and so we, all, we like to try to provide our students with um, leadership opportunities to build your leadership skills all uh, during all the years that you're at, on campus. So um, that starts with our Emerge Leadership Academy, which is exclusively for first year students. Um, it's a seven week leadership program. You meet once a week for this program and it starts your first semester um, being on campus. So that, again, is another great opportunity for you to engage with other new students on campus while um, build, working on those skills. Our office also, we also do an athletic leadership academy program. Um, it's similar to Emerge, but this is for student athletes. And then we also have leadership exchanges. So each year we do a leadership exchange to Washington, D.C and um, a leadership exchange to Disney. So the picture you see on this slide is our Disney or our Washington DC leadership exchange. So both of those are um, really popular among our students. Um, students really like them. So um, that's really all I had on my presentation today. So I'll be at the end here for questions. If you have more questions about anything regarding the Office of Student Life, and then at the end, I'll try and figure out the video. And then if we have time, they can show that for us at the end also. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Tia. We appreciate all your information and um, we'll make sure to find that link. Um, maybe Tia can find that for us here in just a minute and drop that in the, the chat so y'all can watch that video when you have a second. But there's always lots of fun stuff going on in the Office of Student Life. Um, so if there's anything you have questions about, um, jump on the chat NASOs, um, and then we'll get going here with uh, Ashley Allen, who is our Assistant Director of Student Inclusion and Diversity. Ashley, are you ready to go? Yeah. So good morning, everyone. I am, just give me one second to share my screen. Can everyone see? 
Yes, okay. Um, so my name is Ashley Allen. Um, I'm with the Office of Student Inclusion and Diversity. I've been at Augustana for four years. I actually started in the admissions office where I was a counselor, admissions counselor. I'm recruiting in the Chicagoland area for two years. And then I've been in my current role for two years as well. Um, so I do wanna introduce our staff members. We have Michael Rogers, who is the director. Um, I am the assistant director. And then also we have an administrative assistant that works in our office named Leticia Martinez. And really under our umbrella of our office, um, you have the Office of Student Inclusion Diversity and kind of like our peer office would be the Office of International um, Student Life. Um, it's OISSS, I'm sorry, I don't know the exact um, acronyms at this moment, but it's our International Student Life. And then we have a VP of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, and we kind of work together um, to make sure that Augustana is a place where all feel welcomed and valued. Um, and then our mission st statement, again, is really creating an inclusive campus community um, for all students. Um, but then also we have do have an intentional focus on students of color. Um, but then really our vision for the entire campus is making sure everyone has a sense of belonging here at Augustana, that they feel valued and then also respect it. And then I also wanna go back to the staff members as well to, know, to let you know that we do have um, student workers that work in our office that come from a wide range of places um, from a wide range of backgrounds um, and really um, social identities as well. So really, again, making sure that this is a place where all students feel belonged and that we're able to um, communicate this across our entire campus. Some of the programs, I'm going to go um, and kind of go some over our programs that we do have. One second, I need to get rid of that. Okay. Um, so one of our first programs that we do kind of to launch off the year is for our first year students. And this is called PACE. It is a multicultural mentorship programming program. And it stands for preparation, awareness, community and engagement. And again, this is for first year students of color, um, an opportunity where they start off the year before welcome week starts with an orientation. Um, it's about four days. Um, we do we kind of get them acclimated to campus. And then as as you can see in this picture, um, there's yellow people that people that have yellow shirts on and then people that have blue shirts on. So the blue, um, those represents all of our mentees um, in the PACE Multicultural Program. And then these are peer mentors that are in the yellow. Um, and they are typically upperclassmen that are being student leaders. And they really um, build community with those students for uh, this year long program, again, to make sure all of our students are getting acclimated to um, to campus life as a first year student um, here on Augustana's campus. Um, the next program that we have, one of our signature program is um, called SLIDE. It's Student Leaders for Inclusion, Diversity, and Equity. And this is a program for all those that want to be leaders in diversity, equity, and inclusion. And what we do with this program is host a lot of workshops and programs um, really to build those leadership skills and making sure that everyone has the ability to be a leader um, in, the, in this diverse world. And so again, this is open to all student leaders that want to, know, want to learn a little bit more about inclusion, diversity, and equity. Um, we have a number of different other programs that are service for students, again, to be able to um, find their sense of belonging. And I mentor this group, and it's called Sisterhood of Unique Ladies. And this is really just an opportunity. We get together about um, one to two times a month um, and really to help students really thrive. There's a lot of fun events that we do. So you see on the left, um, I hosted a vision board party last, um, last academic school year. And so really an opportunity for students to come together and just talk about where they see themselves um, in the future. And then on the right, this is an opportunity where um, I had an opportunity to partner with um, Tia in the Office of Student and Life. And so what you'll see across our campus is it's not just our office that hosts events, but we're finding um, ways that we can partner with other offices like the Office of Student, of Student Life. So this was an opportunity on the right where we were able to take women to a conference here in the Quad Cities. And it was really a day to really um, develop them and and be able to meet other community leaders, hear speakers, and really engage with other students um, and other, at other colleges here locally in the Quad Cities.
And what is kind of like the Brotherhood to Seoul is the Multicultural Men's Association. It's kind of real similar to what Seoul is. Again, they meet on a monthly basis and they have different opportunities that they're able to explore to talk about different issues that may impact them. Um, this picture right here is uh, an opportunity where um, they were able to go to South Carolina for a Men of Color National Summit. And so there were some staff members as well as students that applied to, to go on this really empowering summit. Um, and they were able to bring what they were able to learn back to a Multicultural Men's Association and share that with the other men that um, are in this program as well. So we have a graduate school workshop series and we partner with um, CORE, another office at, at another office in um, at Augustana. And so really this is preparing students um, to really help them prepare for graduate school. We have a number of workshops. We teach them some of the things are how to interview, how to even research a graduate school. Um, and we also are able to give away some, some things that are gonna help students so like maybe a GRE um, book. So again, this is just a program that we host. We have, it's about six weeks long. And again, it's preparing um, students for graduate school and preparing for life after Augustana. So I'm gonna go into uh, a few in depth of some of the programming that we do have. Um, I would say we host about at least 100 programs throughout the year. And these ones that you're seeing are really student-led event programmings. And we really empower our students to, once they have an idea, we really want them to take ownership of that program and really reach out to their peers and have this have an event that's able to engage our um, our campus community and a lot of what you'll see is they may be fun events but then you also see events that are more um, uh, centered around diversity equity inclusion again we want to empower our students but really our goal too is to educate um, students on all these different aspects of diversity inclusion and equity so you see on the the first fly that you see is an event that one of our students did she is from south africa so she um, ordered a lot of um, nibbles, um, that's what it was called, nibbles from South Africa. So a lot of treats from South Africa and students were able to come to this event to learn about her culture, but then also um, kind of taste some things that are come from South Africa. You see Super Smash Brothers, that was just kind of a laid back event um, where we had a tournament and had prizes for that. Um, and then the third one is Balling on a Budget Life Skills. So this is a series that we did to really teach students um, some life skills and one of those events were um, making meals in minutes where we had one of our staff members really teaching the students how they can make meals in minutes um, cheap easy meals that they're able to make um, and then also we have another event that one of our students that is from the Latinx population were able um, to have as well and these are just pictures of some of the events that we were able to host here in the left hand corner you see at the basketball court this was a student um, student faculty um, gate basketball game where we went uh, the staff and faculty went against the students so that was a fun game um, here this is with the ugly sweaters this was an ugly sweater contest that our pace students were able to participate in um, we do um, this right here where it says inclusive Augie and then you see um, I stand with immigrants we do a lot of campaigns and this is campus-wide again to educate our campus community about what some of these diversity issues include inclusion um, I guess just ways to really in and to communicate and communicate the things that we're doing in our office and really again to create a place where everyone feels belonged here at Augustana um, another thing that we do is go on a lot of leadership uh, trips. And so this is a trip, again, that we're able to um, partner with the Office of Student Inclusion, Di oh, sorry, Office of Student Inclusion Diversity and the Office of Student Life. And actually their multicultural programming, bo programming board were the ones that kind of led this um, and planned this entire trip. So this was an opportunity where, um, this one is a Lorraine Mort Motel. So we went to a lot of historic, um, a, a lot of historic monuments and um, landmarks in Alabama and then also Tennessee. Um, and then we ended up in Edbit at the Edmund Pettus Bridge, an opportunity where um, students were really to relive the civil rights movement and meet a lot of activists um, on our trip to Selma. And this was a six day trip that students got to participate in over spring break. And again, um, anyone is available, is able to apply to this program um, to go on this journey to Selma.
And again, it's another way to um, be able to have this experience outside of the classroom and really, um, really dive into some of these um, experiences that have been monumental in our history. So um, I will briefly kind of go over our signature program and events. Um, one thing that we've done this year is have something called First Fridays. So every Friday, um, every first Friday of the month, we do a, an event for the entire campus community and invite them. One of the first things that we did um, this academic school year was have this um, have this movement called Inclusive Augie, that Inclusive Augie starts with you. And as you can see, like we were really focused on defining what diversity, inclusion, and equity is. And we had a big campaign kickoff where we had music, we had food, um, we had students, faculty, and staff sign pledges, and that was in the lower quad. Again, really um, around this whole idea that we want Augustana to be this inclusive place for everyone. Um, the second one, again, we partnered with the Office of Student Life, and it is a big event called my culture is not a costume and talking about culture appropriation, what that looks like, um, what you should and should not wear um, at a costume party, especially when um, you're thinking about culture and, you know, using um, whether it's wearing like a headdress or whether it's wearing um, just different things that is appropriating someone else's culture. And then during this quarantine time, we did have to get really unique in how we are engaging students. And so we hosted our first Friday virtually, and that was really just hanging with our office and really connecting with our students and having this virtual hangout to make sure to let them know that we are here for them and then really to hear any um, issues or problems that they may have during this time. Um, and then another thing that we do every month is something called conversation series. Again, a lot of these programs are led by our student workers. So they pick a topic that um, they want to communicate to our campus, something that um, will engage our audience, but then also it teach them more about diversity inclusion. So these are some of the things um, that we were able to do this year. Um, one of the fun events that we did um, was holidays across, around the world. So we were able to partner, partner with different students from different parts of the world um, and they were able to teach us some of the holiday traditions that they have in their countries. And so that was a really fun, um, a fun conversation series that we got to learn about other people um, from across the world and what they do during the holidays. Um, this is just a picture from My Culture is Not a Costume. Um, well, this is one of our student workers named Talia Lemon, and she is an artist. Um, she also works in our office, and so this is her work um, that she was able, you saw on this poster, it was plastered around the campus, so again, that we're able to empower our students to be able to lead events like this, but then also show their talents as well. In the lower part, you can see a lot of, um, a lot of students attended this event, a lot of students from Greek Life, and then other students as well from other groups and organizations. Um, another thing that we do is we like to get out into the community. Um, so we do a big MLK community celebration and these were pictures from our celebration this year. Again, this is just an opportunity where we can really talk about the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King and this is where our community came in and we were able to highlight people from different um, culture groups but then also organizations within our community as well. Uh, and then this year we held our first diversity week and this was a campus-wide program where for seven, for seven days, for the whole week, we focused on um, an aspect of diversity and inclusion. So the first, um, this, the picture on the left shows uh, this was a Latinx cooking class. So one of our staff members came and taught students how um, to cook a lot of um, traditional Latinx um, dishes. And this was some of the, this is what we were able to come up with. And so that's a picture of that. On Monday, it was the, it was the first day of Women's History Month. So we had a campaign. And as you can see, a lot of people from the community took pictures and it was really a tribute to um, women and that have impacted our lives. Um, just a couple more pictures from this event. Um, over here in the left, we had a mental health awareness kind of event where students were able to come in. We had massages, we had students could do painting, um, they, we had a coloring station, we had a we. So really an opportunity for our students to take a pause from their everyday life and really focus on their mental health. And then one of the big events that we partnered with, um, with a couple offices in um, Augustana was we brought Dr. Yusuf Salam um, to our campus. And so that was a big huge opportunity for our students to learn about his life and his um, and what he experienced but then also an opportunity for them to meet them and then our community to come to this event as well. 
And then one of the last signature events that we have is something called Shades of Beauty, where we started that last year, again, partnering with Tia in the Office of Student Life. And this is a summit for women to really empower them and to let them know that they can love their self the way that they are. Um, so this was over 200 women were able to come to this event. We brought in community leaders um, and they were just really teaching them and developing them as women. Um, and there was a, a lot of different topics that they focused on so that they um, could know that they could love their self and celebrate their selves for who they are as women. Um, I think I only have a couple more slides, but we have student organizations that fall underneath our office. We have Asian Student Organization, the Black Student Union, Latinx Unidos, and African Student Association. And those are student organizations that are led by our students. They meet once a week. Um, they also host a number of events that they're able to really um, share with our campus community um, what, what, what truly what means to them. So like the Black Student Union, they host a soul food dinner every single year. Year, um, where they have soul food and really talk about the history of soul food and that's when a time for all of our campus to come in and they have a program and they also have food during this event. Um, Latinx Unidos, they host a lot of different events throughout um, the year as well. One of their big signature events is hosted in December, um, Our Lady of Guadalupe. So this is an opportunity again where they're able to show um, or showcase something that means to them and what mean, is a, means a lot to them and their culture as well. And then what you see on the right is culture houses and so no one lives in these houses but this is kind of a place where our student organizations can come in and host their meetings um, they can cook in these houses um, they may have hosted an event so really this is the opportunity where students can gather um, study um, again meet and just a way for them to have this home away from home um, here at Augustana as well and this is pictures of some of the houses. We have a mural list that is coming into each one of the houses to do um, specific murals. And then on the left-hand side is two murals that are in our Black Culture House. And then on the right-hand side is one of the murals that is in Casa Latino, to Casa Latina. And then we are adding another mural in the Asian Student, um, in Asian Pagoda House um, this summer. And really, again, we do have a lot of events and programs, but really we're here to support and ensure the success of our students. So really empowering students to take action, um, advocate for students, mentor them, and then also to help them in academic and professional development as well. And then if you have any questions, I know I had a lot of information here. This is the contact information for Michael Rogers and then also myself. And then we are very active on social media. So if you want to follow us on Instagram and Facebook um, at Elsid Augie, that'll give you kind of insight of some of the programs and it introduces some of our students too as well that um, help us do this important work here at Augustana. All right. Thank you, Ashley. That was really helpful to learn all about the um, different activities that your office offers throughout the year and how we get students engaged across campus. So we appreciate both uh, Tia and Ashley sharing more information with us. Um, does anybody have any last? We've got just a couple minutes. Um, anybody have any last questions? I haven't seen too many questions in the chat. I appreciate everybody jumping in and sharing a little bit more about what you're looking forward to and what you're excited about at Augustana because uh, it is it's an, it's an exciting time and we look forward to uh, to welcoming you. Um, but I don't see any other questions. Uh, as uh, Ashley and Tia both said, they are available on social media and email, and we'll make sure that uh, you have their contact information. We do have a giveaway to offer. Um, so we have a T-shirt winner. Um, by the name of Elisa Frazier, I believe from Florida. Elisa, are you here somewhere? I'm, I'm here. Awesome. Um, if you just want to drop, uh, well, let me know what size. You can either message me or drop it in the chat if you can figure out how to chat me individually or, um, or we can get a hold of you afterwards and let us know what size. But um, you are a raffle winner, so we're excited to give you that t-shirt as a souvenir. And um, the only other thing I wanted to make sure you guys knew is that we do have a number of different sessions coming up at noon. So we hope you'll join us for another one. There's um, admissions and financial aid Q&A. So you'll get an overview of um, some different things to know right now in terms of uh, financial aid, especially if you have questions and what's going on there. Um, next steps. So they'll talk about registration, orientation, what's happening with those things. 
And then the third one is a student panel. So you'll get to hear about student life from several of our current students. So um, that will be a fun one too. So we hope you can join us for some of those next sessions. And um, we also sent some links to our virtual tours on campus. So we hope if you haven't had a chance to see um, the campus that those will at least help you get a sense of um, the campus and how beautiful it is this time of year. And um, we're happy to answer any questions about that as well. I think I see one question. Um, oh, another, yeah, with future students. So yes, we will have, um, I think uh, someone was asking about the Augie Bound Connect. We are going to offer another one. Um, one of my coworkers can maybe chime in if they know a date. I don't know if we've set a date yet. So we'll probably have another one of those coming up this week. So pay attention to the uh, Augie Bound Connect. That's where students really have a chance to interact with each other. So it's been really fun. We um, get you in a little bit smaller group so you can meet each other um, a little bit more than, than today where we're all just trying to get to know uh, more about student activities. And then we also have academic sessions coming up. So if you'd like to know more about a program or a department, we have our faculty offering those all throughout the next two weeks. So you should be getting or have gotten emails and texts about those. Um, it's a great opportunity to really hear from faculty um, and find out more about their program and sometimes current students as well. Um, so yes, thank you, David, for the support. We, we're glad you enjoyed those. And um, yeah, it's, we're doing our best to offer you all these opportunities virtually. Certainly, we would love to have you on campus, and we hope that can happen later this summer. Um, but we certainly want to get you as connected as we can right now. So I think that's about it, unless anybody else has anything else. Uh, T or Ashley, anything else to add? All right. Well, thank you for joining. We will wrap this up and let you guys head on to hopefully another session. And thank you for spending some time with us. Have a great afternoon.